Hi, my name is Dean Davison. I'm a meteorologist with the Weather Pros, liveweatherblogs.com, Snowfall Nation. This is my derecho warning based on words. This is being done for the National Weather Association Conference down in Norfolk, Virginia. I am a member of the National Weather Association, the American Meteorological Society. I was the vice president of the Philadelphia Delaware Valley AMS between 2003 and 2006 and I am also uh, one of the family members that helped with the technical um, background information um, for the Blue Ridge AMS NWA chapter that Catherine Prost had started. So going into this, the duration happened June 29th and June 30th, 2012. It lasted about 18 hours half over 800 miles, 28 fatalities, $2.9 million in damage, power failure over 10 days for mo a lot of people, especially uh, in Roanoke, Lynchburg area where we had over 100,000 people without power. So what happened is I was on the road with the company between Roanoke and Lynchburg and I found a lot of time between the job to come up with an idea print some papers out and come up with an idea um, of why people didn't understand what a ratio was, you know. Why people, did they take it serious, could there be something changed? Well, looking at that, I came up with this uh, form and uh, the question were, did you take it, this severe thunderstorm warning seriously? 128 people did. This is the first set. Uh, did you take it as a normal severe thunderstorm warning? 454 people said yes. They took it as severe thunderstorm uh, warnings, which a lot of people do not take the severe thunderstorm warning as seriously as they should. And responding to it as was something major, 18 people. So I thought to myself, with that data, um, and I've been over a month in Lynchburg, but with that data, how can we change the perception of people understanding these warnings? The Weather Service can win underwent some stuff um, from changing of their words, and that's great. But I think there still could be some improvement. And wording such as "may kill you if outside" because the ratio has over 75 miles an hour wind and flying debris, so that's what kills most people. Cause the damage of a tornado. Is that that be you know is a tornado the word that people pay attention to? catastrophic power loss for many, many days. That was a huge problem because of the heat wave afterwards, but it was still been a huge problem because when you go one or two days without power, most people don't know how to react. So, when I asked the second round to these people, they gave me their information, I asked them this. If we added those words, would you change your, would you take differently? Would you take it as a tornado? And 323 people actually would take it as a tornado warning than as a severe thunderstorm warning. If those words may kill you outside, damage of a tornado, and catastrophic power loss. 128 of them would take uh, major action, 49, normal response. That's a lot better than the first round that I did. So what I found out is the best thing you can do, it, we can do is either add wording better, Give this to local TV stations, to AMS, uh, the AMS chapters, uh, National Weather so uh, Services, and see if they can maybe add this uh, discussion of a PDS, maybe see your thunderstorm watch, and explain to people what that is, particularly dangerous situation, and how dangerous it is. So really, words can change views of warning, warn with direct words, and hopefully we'll see that happen more as we go along and the weather service keeps adapting better wording for storms. Uh, my name is Dean D. Davison. My contact information is there on the screen. Thank you for watching this. And